when it comes to letting your network know about your services, that you are available to work with clients, I recommend that you do this in two to four enrollment waves per year instead of trying to make them think about your services all year long. Because when you try to make people remember your services all year long, you, you know, maybe every single time you post something on social media, you're always telling, oh, and I'm available to be hired by you, blah, blah, blah. It, um, it makes people feel like you're always selling them on something. So it does not build trust uh, as, as quickly and can, can actually erode trust. So think in terms of two to four times in a year where you are making a concerted effort to let your network know through email, through your email list, through your social media channels, through wherever you uh, share your content and advice generously, also in person, uh, it's two to four times a year when you have focused intention and effort to say, hey, I'm open uh, for, for people joining my services again or, or hiring me for my services again. Uh, it, it can cr- the nice thing about it is it can create buzz during those times of the year because they are hearing it. They are seeing your announcement in multiple ways. They're seeing it maybe via email, your email list. They're seeing it via social media. They're seeing it, you know, if you have a video channel, maybe they're seeing it there. Maybe if you have a podcast, they're, they're hearing about it there. Uh, maybe you have, you have uh, referral partners or promotional partners. They're hearing about it from them. So it's really nice to have that, in, that focused effort that creates buzz. The second great reason to do this is that you can then prepare for those enrollment periods throughout the rest of the year when you, because you're going to get great ideas about how to do your enrollment, how to do your outreach throughout the year, right? And so put your ideas in a folder called enrollment. And during your intentioned, focused enrollment period, you can take out that folder and then see which idea energizes you that you feel like you want to implement this time in this enrollment period. So it allows you to prepare for it. And the next reason is that it allows you to intake your clients in a more batched, grouped way so that you save time and energy. And it creates, if it's appropriate, to create a private client community among your clients so that, so that they can support each other as they work with you. That uh, People appreciate that. People appreciate being able to um, support one another, share ideas. Um, and you can support your clients through your private community uh, more efficiently because if someone asks a question, you can respond for everyone. You can do group calls and things like that. And uh, finally, this then means, this then allows you to focus your energy on giving generously throughout the rest of the year so that you're not always trying to sell, so that you yourself don't feel like you're always energetically trying to get people to buy because it doesn't, you know, you're always try, getting, trying to get people to buy means trying to get people to spend their money with you, which is their precious life energy. So we all feel um, the, you know, naturally modest about not doing that all the time because, again, you're asking people to spend their precious life energy with you when they spend money with you, right? So do this just two to four times a year. Um, and I would recommend that you, you don't do it in the months of July and August. July and August are traditionally uh, the slowest months in my experience and my client's experience in terms of enrolling people into things. Not that you can't, but that ideally if you're planning forward a year, you try to skip July and August in terms of your enrollment periods. So I hope this is helpful. I'm always open to your comments and questions. And until the next video, wishing you well.